These budding Elon Musks built these hovercraft from scratch at the Education Bureau STEM Education Center. The secondary students designed their mini hovercraft and made them with 3D printers. One, two, three. A competition was held to see which of their creations could carry the most weight and travel the furthest. The winner said his hovercraft exceeded expectations. I was actually nervous about the competition because I was thinking that once I put 400 G here, it's too heavy for this plug to move. Actually, I was really shocked that it slid to the end. But it turned out the result is I won. The competition helped to inspire the students' drive to create. Okay, I was um, thinking of designing this with corners that were sharp so that it might spin better and go a farther distance. But I was wrong because I didn't realize that adding more corners would actually make it make the friction a lot stronger. I think the main thing today is I learned I was I failed and next time I do it I'll do a better design and do it again. And I think that's how science works and that's how life should work too. Keep trying, never give up. A month before the students started classes at the STEM Center, their teacher underwent training in 3D printing. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. In our school, we are promoting STEM education, and I'm the person in charge of that. For that reason, I have to equip myself, and I want to have a better training in that. I can make use of the things learned in, in the center to adjust whether what type of 3D printing in the future we need to buy. Also, this center can give chance for teachers to book the workshop place and also equipment. So we can solve the problem that we don't have all the resources in our school. Mr. Fung said the students enjoyed their hands-on learning experience and being able to think outside the box. I want to be a mechanical engineer, so I do want to do engineering. And this is actually a first step. This is my first time actually putting an idea into a design and then printing it out. It is possible that I will need these skills again in the future. The Education Bureau set up the STEM Education Center at the Arts and Technology Education Center in Lok Fu last October to jumpstart innovative technology education in primary and secondary schools. The center is equipped with advanced 3D printers, a 3D scanner, and a laser cutter. We have come here today to make Kongming Logs. It is a traditional Chinese intellectual toy. We first used computer software to draw our designs, and then used the laser cutter to cut it out. Mine is a rectangular design. The product looks consistent with my design concept. The students said the center's advanced technology allows them and their teachers to transform their ideas into reality. I'm happy with my product. In the past, it took a lot of effort to polish the surface to make it smooth. But now, when it is directly cut out from the machine, it is smooth already. It is good. With the laser cutter, students can finish their work quickly so they have more time to focus on the design and think of how to make improvements. Students are gaining a sense of success and satisfaction. The center is divided into areas for discussion, design, fabrication, and for realization to support different types of teaching and learning activities. I think the most important element of STEM is the hands-on work. This center provides a venue for students to discuss, to develop their ideas, to draw their drafts, to use computers to process their 3D designs, and to use advanced equipment to make their products. The whole process satisfies the needs of hands-on work, so this center can support the development of STEM education. Since its establishment, the center has held more than 40 high-tech machinery training workshops for teachers who will teach STEM courses to primary and secondary students. The center also plans to organize more activities for students, 
including STEM-related competitions. Before summer vacation, we will organize a large-scale inter-school STEM competition for all secondary and primary schools, in which students can apply their STEM knowledge and skills to solve real-life problems. In addition, it's also a good chance for them to learn from their peers. Students can experience the interests of STEM and develop a good foundation for school to further promote their school-based STEM education.